Without nanoelectronic technology, this is what your smartphone would look like. Hmm, not that smart. First, there was electronics. Then, microelectronics. Then, nanoelectronics. Nanoelectronics is exactly that. Infinitely small, and more precisely, electronic components that can be measured in nanometers. 8.7 billion connected objects in the world in 2012. And your smartphone is just the tip of the iceberg. If you enjoy music streaming on your smartphone, it's thanks to nanoelectronics. If you can use augmented reality, it's thanks to nanoelectronics. And of course, thanks to nanoelectronics, the futuristic Google self-driving car is way more high-tech than the flying DeLorean from Back to the Future. The future is within reach. Nanoelectronics touches every key issue. Our health, life, our home, transport, our towns and cities, industry, our planet, energy. A global revolution is underway. And from the heart of the Alps, Grenoble is fast becoming a major player in the global innovation dynamic of the fully connected. Grenoble stands for a whole lot more than Chartres liqueur, walnuts and skiing. There's the Grenoble School of Management, Grenoble INP, and 15 other partners, businesses, and research laboratories who make up the Nanoelec Institute for Technological Research. Nanoelec TRI is a pioneer in both research and nanoelectronic training. The training sessions offered by GSM and Grenoble INP are specifically tailored to meet the needs of businesses working in nano development. This is how we recognize the Nanoelec TRI solutions. And that's how the creme de la creme of research found itself featured in a 2013 edition of Forbes magazine. Forbes said so itself, listing Grenoble as the fifth most innovative city in the world. Indeed, one day the world's smartest phone might even be invented in Grenoble. Wow, now that's smart.